Hello everyone. So today we will be seeing how the bank reconciliation feature works in Swipe. So what is bank reconciliation? Bank reconciliation is basically mapping your bank transactions with the payments you have recorded in Swipe. So let's locate the bank reconciliation option in Swipe. So click on the payments tab. Here you can see the bank reconciliation option. Just click on it. Once you click on the bank reconciliation feature, you can see the import statement button over here. Click on this button. So here you can see the formats which are supported in Swipe to upload your bank statement. Currently we support three formats that is XLS, XLSX and CSV. So how you can download these bank statements? You have to download the bank statement from your net banking portal and you will get in these formats. After downloading your bank statement, you need to upload it here. Currently I am uploading my RBL bank statement but in Swipe we support all the banks. So click on this upload statement button, select your bank statement and click on open. As you can see my file has been uploaded successfully. Now click on next. Here you can you know name your statement like this is my June month statement. So I am writing it as June. The date ranges are automatically fetched from your bank statement. And here I am selecting my RBL bank and just click on next. Once you have clicked on next, you'll see your bank statement in this format with your transaction date, description and your credited and debited amounts. Click on confirm. So once you click on confirm, you will get this dashboard. On the left hand side, you can see your bank statement with all your credited debited amounts, payment transaction date and your description. On the right hand side, you can see all the payments which you have recorded in Swipe as a pay in or as a payout with your customer name and your bank name and the transaction date as well. So now coming up to mapping the payments. So how to map your ba bank statement with your swipe payments? Let's see. So say this 94 rupees payment you got in your bank and this 94 was for an invoice which you created. So just click on both of these and click on link payment. So these both transactions got linked as you can see. The data was also saved successfully. Now say uh, you you know like made an expense for 9000 and you have also recorded that expense in swipe. So you can just click on both of these and select on link. link. So these both will get linked. There, there are some cases where you receive a amount in your bank and that was due to multiple invoices you created. So for one payment you need to link your multiple invoices payments. So what you can do here is just click on this 23,999 and this was for two of the invoices which you created for the customer Southern Enterprises. So click on both of the amounts 20,000 and 3999 and click on link payment. There may be some cases where you received one payment in your bank and for that payment you have not recorded anything in swipe. So you can directly create a payment from this dashboard itself against any of your customer and settle all your pending invoices. Let's see how to do that. So for this, say I am clicking on this 4423.14 payment which I received and I will go to create payment. I will select my customer for which I received this payment and I will click on settle all the pending documents. I will go to manual mode. And as you can see, I have two pending invoices against this customer for 2000 and 2423.14. I'll click on both of these and I'll click on add payment. So as you can see, the payment is linked. Now, there are some scenarios where you make uh, expense from your business account for your personal, personal purpose. Say I have spent this 700 and I don't need to record this in swipe. So you can just click on this 700 and click on skip statement. So your statement, will, uh, your transaction will get skipped. Now how to see how many transactions you have linked and how many you have skipped. To go that, to see that, click on this linked statement. Here you will see all your linked statement data and in the skipped statement tab, you will see all the state, all the transactions which you have skipped. So. So here what you can see is your total amount which was under the bank statement, your reconciled amount, all the transactions which you have you know mapped in swipe 
and the amount remaining which you have to actually map and the skipped amount which I have skipped the 700 amount here you can see it all of those so this is basically how the bank reconciliation feature works in swipe thank you so much